So in this video, we're going to be using the techniques that Star Citizen use, creators use, to texture their ships. Now this ship is not completed, but I uh, kind of want to kind of see how it works. I want to see. So this is from Sunday Night Stream. This is what we've created so far. Pretty happy with how this turned out. Probably on this week's stream, we'll be working on the interior and adding more details and such through here. I think there's a bit more that we can add. So we will focus on that. But but ultimately, it does look not too bad. I do want to throw a texture on it, like I said at the start. So I have been creating some uh, materials, which we'll probably put up on Patreon in the next day or two. So just going into the asset browser, click and drag, we're going to put a material on there, and you can now disappear. So this is the material, not too bad. Um, but we're going to spend most of our time in UV editing. So with our object selected, now we're going to go through quite a few techniques on UV and we're going to go through quite a few techniques on UV unwrapping. So get your pencils out and give me a like and subscribe. Also, let me know which ones you already knew about going to just bring up a the roughness just so I can kind of see what I'm doing. Now because I was testing this, I know that uh, there was a few issues with the mesh, but that's okay, we'll sort that out. So the first one that I want to deal with is I want to get this plate here straight. So let's go U, unwrap. Now if we look at this over here on the left hand side, you can see that it's a really yuck shape, kind of want it straight. How do we do it? Easy. Let's scale these along the X axis, and then we'll scale this one along the Y axis. There we go, scale Y. With this face selected, we're gonna select everything, right click, follow active quads. Because that's our square, it's gonna kind of like try and stay in line. And so now when we move over, let me just come over into material mode, we can scale this up and, um, Let's put it in here, because I think it'll fit there a lot better. And so I'm just trying to line it up, nice. And then you can see how now we've got this nice UV unwrap of this mesh. Now we can come down to this bottom section and we can do the exact same thing, U, unwrap. Let's pick the end piece, scale X, scale X, scale Y, and scale Y. Select everything, right click, follow active quads. And then we can come down to this side and scale it like so. And now without too much work, we've got this nice little bit of edge wear. We've got panels cut in. Awesome. Now this isn't the color that I really want. So if we go into shading, the way I've designed it is there actually is no diffuse color. I mean, we can plug it in. So this is the diffuse color. Eh. <laughs> So we might just change it down to maybe like a darker gray, and then that makes it all pop a little bit more. If we go into rendered view, let's have a look what that looks like. Nice, nice, love it, grand. Back into UV editing, so we've done this side, this side. I'm just gonna press hide. Let's just get rid of it so we don't see it anymore. Um, we'll do this section while we're here. U, unwrap, where are we? Right there. So we don't have to rescale that one, which is awesome. And then we can line this one up as well. This one doesn't need to be as neat because it's along the inside. Cool beans, let's hide that. I'm gonna select all this, U, and I'm gonna project from view. So from this view, this is what it's gonna look like. Awesome. Let's now scale that up. How are we gonna do this? Let's make sure, yeah, let's go like that, I reckon. Just something like so. And then you can see how, yeah, I'm not a fan of that. So maybe we can bring it in a bit and just line it back up just so it sits on the edge. Awesome, great. I think we could probably put in a piece over here that covers this scene. And then last but not least, let's select this piece. This is gonna be nice and easy. From the top, U, project from view. And then we can, if we really wanted to, we could just slide it into this slot. There we go, beautiful, gorgeous. Now this, these here are from Decal Machine. And so with these, because I want to match the material, I'm going to go D, V to match. We're going to press D again, because I want the clay material to change. And let's find default. Funnily enough, it doesn't like the default material. So we won't use the default material. 
we will go off this uh, black material. So let's go D, match, uh, D again, and let's scroll through until we find panel four. Huh. All right, looks like that decal doesn't work. Delete. Let's go into this one here, D, match. Um, let's scroll that up. And I'm just gonna find a material. That's sci-fi panels four, which is the current one that we've got. Let's see what happens if we go into the default. Sweet, looks like that decal is a problem. And we can see how that matches in. Let's do this one as well. And so these work really nice because they're a small piece of the puzzle rather than a giant panel, which is kind of like, mm, doesn't really work too well. Um, let's try these ones here. Might just set them as default. I know you're a problem, so we'll get rid of those panels. And obviously if you've been following the videos on normally on a Friday night, you will know that Star Citizen are very decal heavy. So I wouldn't mind adding some more decals through here. Oh, hello. Just change this one real quick. Nice. With a container like this, let's first find a point to UV unwrap. So let's go right click, mark seam. Now what we can do is let's go into the materials over here on the right. We're gonna go into SC material panels. Um, rather than having them kind of like match the rest of the ship, I do want a little bit of a variation. So let's go duplicate the material. I don't know, light. So we'll make this lighter. No, I don't really like that. Maybe a bit of a copper color. That doesn't look too bad. Let's go ahead now and select these faces here. U, unwrap. And that's unwrapped it quite nicely. Let's find a position for it. Something like that seems pretty snazzy. Nice. Now what I will do though is add in the black material again. And that's gonna be these pieces here. I reckon these should be black. Let's go rotate. Make sure we click assign. Yeah, that's cool. You, what are you? You can become SC and the black. Nice. Even up here, maybe what we'll do is make this all black. The way I've done that is I've selected control numpad plus to increase my selection. Easy. Let's change that to that. And I'm going to select just the top bit first. Stuff it. Let's go U, unwrap. Uh, let's not select this one. This face can just come over here. We will select these here. U, unwrap. And then this is where we can do our trick from before. Scale Y zero, scale Y zero, scale X zero, scale X zero. Select everything, there we go. Right click, right click follow active quads. And then we'll make it just kind of like be in this whole position. How's that looking? I reckon this ring here, we could move over to this section because I do just want that edge wear coming through. Nice. And we could probably do it with this one as well. Come up here, buddy. And you can just see how simple it is. Now we could probably do all this procedural. However, the intention for this is to go into Unreal Engine. So I would have to recreate the material in uh, Unreal. Where with this, everything is a texture. Oh, that looks pretty cool. This piece here as well, we're gonna do one last one. Let's go into SC. And you can see that some people absolutely love UV unwrapping. It is very uh, rewarding. Yeah, I thought so. However, I uh, I hate it with a passion. Let's go right click merge by distance. And I'm going to, actually we'll do this. Delete those faces, those faces. Let's select these and you project from view. Now let's just make sure that these are all scale, scale X zero, and we'll go scale X zero, scale X zero. From here, we'll select all that. Control A, right click, follow active quads. So we've got to do it for each one. Lovely. And now I'm just going to line them up just along that edge there. Nice and easy. Off centering them as well. So they don't actually match up. Technically, we should probably make each edge here to be lining up on uh, the corner section, but uh, I'm gonna live. Let's select that and that. You unwrap. 
and then we kind of have this exact same thing here. It's been a very repetitive video, I know that, um, but I just want to show you the process of how I believe, and I'm pretty sure this is the way that Star Citizen guys are doing it. They're obviously layering their work a bit more as well. So let's do that. Hide, unwrap. What are we looking at? Ah, yeah, but it looks fine to me. I oh, should actually will select all that. Right click, follow active quads. Ooh, that's a bit yucky. All right, not feeling that section. Maybe like that. Nope, that's disgusting. Let's go like this. Yep. I'll accept that. I missed the piece, you donkey. Which is fine, let's just go you unwrap, scale, and then we can just line it up like that, easy. Let's maybe put that as our red. Very repetitive video, I know, but it's just more, I wanted to show you what is actually possible with all this. And uh, don't be afraid of UV unwrapping, because I know I am. <laughs> ah, that's pretty cool. And so kind of like there is a very quick overview on some of the things that we've been exploring through the live streams and Friday night videos, and now putting it into practical effect, using it practically. Looks pretty cool. I farted. If you're still watching, you're <laughs> welcome.